Do you want to apply spring pre-emergent and get rid of Poana at the same time? If so, you clicked on the right video. Coming up, I show you how to mix and apply the lawn care products that'll both save you time and help you get a weed-free lawn that much faster. Let's get started. We're at the time of year where it makes a lot of sense to apply spring pre-emergent to eliminate the chances of warm season weeds once temperatures get higher. But what happens if you're also dealing with Poana in your lawn? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to apply both pre-emergent and a selective herbicide to take care of Poana. So the pre emergent we're gonna be using today is one you guys have seen me talk about before in the past. It's called Prodiamine. Uh, this is a water dispersible granule. You mix it with, um, with water and then apply it to your lawn and then water it in heavily. The selective herbicide that we're gonna be using to take care of the Poana is Image. This is a really nice combination in the sense that both of these products are designed to be watered in. Now, there are other selective herbicides that work faster against Poana, but they either require surfactant or they're expensive, so they don't really work well when you're mixing them with a pre-emergent. So what I wanna show you now is how we're gonna go about doing it. The rate that we're gonna be using for warm season grass, again, we're dealing with Bermuda, is 0.80 ounces per thousand square feet. That's the max rate for Prodiamine. So if you go with that rate, you're done with applying Prodiamine for the year. For the image, this product covers, this 24 ounce bottle covers up to 6,000 square feet. So the rate we're gonna be mixing that with is four ounces per thousand square feet. We're gonna be using my Flowzone Typhoon 2 backpack sprayer. It holds four gallons of water. And because we're using a dilution rate of applying the product at one gallon per thousand square feet, we're gonna take both those values and multiply them by four. So what that means is for the prodiamine, the 0 0.80 times four, we're gonna be applying 3.2 ounces of the prodiamine. And for the image, we're gonna take four times four, and that comes up to 16 ounces of that selective herbicide in the backpack sprayer. So let's get to mixing it. We first start by filling the backpack sprayer uh, halfway with water. And the one thing you guys will notice is that I'm wearing gloves, I've got boots on, I'm fully covered up, and I've also got safety glasses here that I'll put on once I start handling the herbicides. Uh, again, because we're dealing with herbicides, safety is super important, so make sure you have the right PPE on um, when you're handling these products. So first, let's fill the backpack sprayer halfway full with water. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do now is we're going to measure out 3.2 ounces of the prodiamine. We'll add that to the, to the tank and then we'll agitate it, get it mixed to get that, that mixture suspended. And then I'll measure out uh, 16 ounces of the image and apply it. One thing I've also got here too that I recommend is um, some marker dye it's called Laser Blue. It's a really good marker dye. I'll have links for all this stuff in the description for you guys in case you don't have it so you can know where to pick it up. Uh, but this makes it really easy to see where you're spraying so you don't either under apply or over apply the product. Uh, I think it's about, the rate calls for about half an ounce uh, for this backpack sprayer. And I'll just, I probably got this measured out just to save some time. So I'll set this aside over here while we measure out these other products. Now to do this, you're gonna need a precision scale. Uh, what I have here is just a kitchen scale. And the way I like to do it is I like to put the uh, container on the scale and then turn it on. And you see here in a second, it should show all the numbers zeroed out. And now because I'm gonna start handling herbicides, safety glasses on, make sure we're safe here. So we're gonna apply the prodiamine first. So again, what we called for was 3.2 ounces of prodiamine. So I'm going to uh, slowly add this so we get to 3.2 ounces. The Prodiamine is a water dispersible granule. So as you guys have seen in my other videos on applying this product, it's just like some small yellow pellets and then we'll apply this to the mixture and then we'll agitate it. So let's do that now first. And I've got here a drill you can use. You can decide to shake the, the sprayer the, if, if you want, but for some people, um, you know, this is a little bit, a bit heavy to do. So first of all, apply the uh, Prodiamine and we'll start agitating it here using the drill. And the idea behind doing this is we want, we want to get the prodiamine suspended within the sprayer. We don't want it to settle, so that's why I'm going to agitate this. You want to make sure you do a good job of this process. So now we're going to add the image to the container. This product covers up to 24,000 square feet. And again, the application rate is going to be four ounces per thousand. So because we have a four gallon backpack sprayer that covers 4,000 square feet, we're going to take four ounces times four. So we're going to get 16 fluid ounces or is what our goal is. And there we go. It's pretty good, all right. So now we'll add, this, the, add the image to the backpack sprayer and agitate it. The last thing we're, at, we're adding is our laser blue marker dye. So this is gonna make it easy for us to see where we have, um, where we apply the product. Very good, so you can see that's gonna be way easier to see than what we were dealing with before. So now we're just gonna agitate. 
And guys, always, as you're filling this, be sure to keep the hose outside of the backpack sprayer. You don't want to contaminate the hose or the nozzle or any of that stuff. So for the flow zone, we're gonna be running this at the higher 115 PSI rate. That's going to give me a walking speed of 90 seconds to cover 1,000 square feet. So let me show you a quick trip now for getting this on, the, on your back. So you can pick it up, or you can take it over here to steps, like so. We'll sit on the steps. And then I'll sit down and throw it on. So it's a quick, quick tip so you're not dealing with having to lift up 50 pounds of product by yourself. You can put that on your back like that. Lean forward. And away you go. Let's go apply some pre-emergent and also take care of some POA. So guys, as you, you can see what I'm dealing with here as far as the number, amount of Poana, we're at Tony's Lawn, and as you can see, the, the Poana is really taking over in this area. So we're gonna be spraying this in addition to the Bermuda. So having it all in one is really gonna save us a lot of time. So let's start out here by doing a trim pass. Fill in here. And then we'll go up to the back to the lawn. So the nice thing about having the image and Prodiamine in one backpack, they're gonna make one pass and it's gonna take care of both problems. We're gonna take care of our pre-emergent and we're also gonna take care of uh, the Poana. The nice thing about both these products is after application, you wanna water them in heavily. It's going to take three to five weeks for the Poana to die off. And then the uh, pre-emergent again, once you water it in, it's gonna begin working. You can see this area is just heavily infested with Poana. We may have to come back and apply Negate or one of the other more stronger uh, selective herbicides against this, but we'll see how the image does against it first just to start. So guys, one thing I'm also pointing out is you see areas like this where it's a low area where the water tends to pool, uh, just kind of like with Nuts Edge, uh, Poana loves wet, moist areas. So you, you pay attention to also in addition to, um, you know, applying your pre-emergent and your selective herbicide, but also pay attention to the environmental stuff. Make sure that your drainage is good so you're not creating an environment where this particular, um, you know, pest in our case for warm season lawns is gonna thrive. And there you go, guys. So that's how you can apply your pre-emergent and also apply selective herbicide to take care of Poana in your warm season lawn. One thing to keep note of, this concoction is only for warm season grass. Whereas Prodiamine is safe for both cool season and warm season grass, Image is not. Image is only safe for Bermuda, Zoysia, St. Augustine, your warm season grasses. If you spray this mixture of Prodiamine and Image on a cool season lawn, you're very likely to kill or at a, at a minimum seriously damage your lawn. So just keep that in mind. This is for warm season only. As always, I'm gonna have links in the description for the backpack sprayer, the image, and the Prodiamine, as well as the measuring container scale, everything you need to be able to apply this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please like, share, and guys, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.